Today we have lived on the road for 1,000 days, but it is all going to get better and easier from today because of this mystery box. Family Van Life started in 2021 when we gave up our jobs and our house and sold almost everything we owned so we could be less stressed and spend more time together as a family. We spent this time having as many experiences as possible, from feeding the reindeer on the Cairngorms to swimming in the lakes. And then, after a short stint in Thailand, which, let's be fair, it is a lot warmer over there, and the beaches and the water are a lot warmer, we then headed back to the UK and bought this beautiful library bus. We knew we wanted to rip it out and make it into a home for us. It was all going well. We went to Spain, we went to France, we drove through beautiful coastal roads and had some incredible experiences. But then this happened. The bus is here. These are the fields that we have just driven through on tiny little lanes and this is where we want to go. But as you can see, right there, there's a massive barrier and it's locked. We've got a ditch there and a ditch there. And a, di and a ditch over there. God, this could all go wrong. It's tight. Ah! Ah! She's just pushed me into a ditch. I know, Luna was going. Did she fall in the ditch? <laughs> Did you fall in the ditch? <laughs> this is why you should not blindly follow your sat nav, especially in a country that you don't know. And the mystery item is an Oreg sat nav. This sat nav is going to make driving a seven and a half ton, 3.2 meter high vehicle so much easier. This Orex sat nav is going to replace our Google Maps because not only does it give the best directions to get to your location, it also gives the best directions to get to your location based on your height and weight. Let's set it up. Use the manual. And the sat nav. So I have set up Olive's credentials. Oh, posh. So they're all on. I've said it can do 70 miles an hour, no chance. <laughs> Maybe downhill. <laughs> we are going to Jackson Leisure across the water to go and pick up our fridge, which they have been mending. And we know that the best route to get from here to Jackson's Leisure is through the Queen's Tunnel. Now, we also know that we are not allowed through the Queen's Tunnel because of our weight and our size. So let's have a little playoff between Google Maps and between the OREX to see which one takes us the right way? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Kingsway. Queensway. So we are not allowed through Queensway. We are allowed through Kingsway. And also, just out of interest, look how much stuff it shows. There's crashes over there and petrol stations. It just doesn't show any of them. Mine doesn't show any of that, though it was a lot quicker to find the place yeah. on the Google Maps than it was on that. Yeah, we'll use them maybe in conjunction, but... Very okay. useful. Let's go. The Wood King's Way. So the thing I noticed about the Orex was that it took me the right way. It took me through the King's route, but it also with plenty of warning, it told me what lanes to go in, which was really useful. I've loved it. Love driving with that. Right, Jackson Leisure. Right, we're going to go into Jackson's Leisure and pick up our fridge because hopefully, fingers crossed, oh. they have fixed it. I can see it. Right. What have we got? Our fridge back. Yay! Is it all fixed? Yes, there you go, we caught him on camera saying that now. Two new circuit boards and a new door to the fridge. Good. Did you know the freezer door? So our door kept falling off. Let's see. <gasps> Ta da! Oh, and it like clicks back as well. We can have ice cream. We can have ice cream <laughs> and ice for my gin. Yeah. Perfect. Right, let's get this in. Right, we are going to get this fridge wired in so we can do our drive down south. If you guys are wanting to drive a vehicle up to seven and a half ton and you do not have your C1 license yet, watch this video here. <laughs> 